I travel, I obviously take my work laptop with me, which is currently the MacBook Pro 16, which is very nice, having a good time with it. But there are a few things I miss about Windows. There's a few things this doesn't have, uh, especially when it comes to gaming as well and uh, certain applications. And so when I got back yesterday, this was waiting for me. The brand new ASUS ProArt P16. Now this is being announced at Computex in Taiwan, where I will be next week as you're watching this. Uh, and actually a big thank you to ASUS for sending this out a little bit early for me to have a play with. It is a pre-release model, so I can't do proper tests and benchmarks. And it is launching alongside the smaller convertible PX13, which is basically a smaller version of this 13 inch, but also with a 360 hinge. It's a convertible, so you can use it, well, any which way you like. And I'll talk about that one a little bit more as we go. But for now, I kind of want to focus on the P16. I want to give you a walkthrough of this because if you're someone who looks at, you know, the Razer Blades, Dell XPSs, MacBook Pros, uh, and you just want a sort of high-end productivity laptop that can also obviously double as a gaming laptop, but also that looks good. And crucially, if you're like me and travel a lot, is nice and thin and light. Well, this could be right up your alley because this is actually, if I just, uh, bring in my MacBook Pro. Here's one I made earlier. The P16 is 14.9 millimeters thick and weighs 1.85 kilograms. So this Pro Art P16 is noticeably thinner and lighter. Uh, we also have top-notch specs, as you'd imagine. We're looking at the brand new AMD uh, Ryzen AI processors, up to an NVIDIA RTX 4070, up to 64 gigs of RAM, up to four terabytes of storage. And with this absolutely gorgeous 16 inch, uh, 16 by 10 4K OLED touchscreen. 100% P3 color accuracy, it supports Dolby Vision, uh, 500 nits of brightness. Obviously OLED means you get those really deep inky blacks, rich colors. It also hits the Display HDR 500 True Black standard. It's Pantone verified and also TUV Rhineland's low blue light certification, which means less eye strain. My only criticism really is at 60 Hertz. I do kind of wish it was 120, especially at this price, but no. All very nice, but I think the best bit for me is that usually these very premium, high-end, productivity, workstation-y sort of creator laptops are ludicrously expensive. Like very few people can actually afford them. That's the biggest issue. This guy starts at $1,699, which I think is actually really good value and makes this a whole lot more interesting. Have a look at this. It's what we call a one pager and Asus sent this over and it kind of highlights the features and the specs that you're getting with the P16. And feel free to pause the video here if you want to have a full read through. But the highlights include the performance of this thing with up to a 120 watt TDP between the processor and the graphics. And that's enabled in part by a new triple fan design. And while I'm still not allowed to test it just yet, we do of course have these new AMD Ryzen processors. With 12 CPU cores, we have their latest RDNA 3.5 architecture for the integrated graphics and a whopping 50 tops of AI performance. And so as more apps and programs are optimized to take advantage of this more powerful MPU, we should see some pretty big boosts to efficiency. We're also getting up to a GeForce RTX 4070, and incredibly, the smaller PX13, the convertible, has basically the same specs, same processor, same GPU options, although up to two terabytes of storage and 32 gigs of RAM. Whereas the tablet, the PZ13, will come with a Snapdragon processor. I genuinely love the look of this thing. Thin bezels with the webcam up here, uh, the flanking speakers with a massive touch pad. You really couldn't squeeze a bigger one in there. A really low profile hinge, actually. And while we do have a little bit of screen wobble there, it's not the end of the world. You can open it one-fingered, like so, which is obviously important to some people. But anyway, you can do that. It's also got a slightly, just slightly rubberized texture to it, uh, which means actually I found it does not slip off the desk anywhere as easily. Like the MacBook just slides around. The P16, it's got a little bit more resistance to it, so less likely to fall off your desk if that's ever happened to you. But as nice as this looks, is this gonna pick up my mucky fingerprints and smudges? Let's just plonk my fingers right on the lid there. Give them a good squeeze. This is kind of gross actually, but here we go. Bit of screen wobble to be fair actually, but no, look at that. They've also packed in a six speaker setup. We've got two tweeters and four woofers. And I also like the fact this touchpad is also 16 by 10. So this aspect ratio is a one-to-one -one equivalent of what you get on the screen. We also have the ASUS dial pad built into the top left of the trackpad here, which does come in handy as an extra input for things like zooming in or scrubbing through your timeline or even simply changing the brightness or the volume of the laptop on Windows. And they have jam-packed this thing with basically all the I.O. you'd need. We've got a full-size HDMI 2.1. We've got a full-size SD Express 7.0 card readers, two USB type C's, one of which is USB 4, and also two type A's, both of which are USB 3.2 Gen 2. And we get Wi-Fi 7. 
Similar setup for the PX13, although it trades the full-size SD to a micro SD, and we do still get the full-size HDMI 2.1. And finally, no ProArt laptop would be complete without this Creator Hub. And from here, you can play around with the performance, the fan profiles, the screen colors, shortcuts. You've got the control panel for the ASUS dial pad here. We also have this new Muse Tree feature, which is a new AI tool that helps you generate new images. You don't need access to the cloud or even to pay for any subscriptions like with Photoshop. And we've also got StoryCube, again using AI, which automatically can organize and classify your photos and videos, making it much quicker to search. So this sits technically below the ProArt Studio Book, but that is a much sort of beefier, proper professional workstation. It's also a lot more expensive. I think this P16 is a lot more pro-consumer oriented, and also it's a lot thinner and lighter. And we get newer hardware in this as well. They haven't currently updated the studio book. So for most people, this is gonna be the one to consider, or of course the PX13 or PZ13. And I do like the fact that this aesthetic, this design, and actually most of the specs, except for the tablet going with a Qualcomm processor, are pretty in line across the board. So you have just different options based on what form factor you want. For me though, as someone who you know makes videos for a living, I would probably go with the P16. Can't wait to test this properly and benchmark market and see what the battery life is and see what these new AMD processors are capable of. But first impressions, there's a lot to like here. Fantastic design and build quality, really nice OLED screen, even though it's only 60 hertz. All the IO and connectivity you could shake a stick at. Top notch performance, I assume, but we'll have to sort of wait and see on that one. Lots of cool AI features to play with. All the good pro art creator hub stuff, including Asus dial. I think for that price, and also given how thin and light this is, this is gonna be one to keep your eye on, as is the PX13 and the PZ13. What do you reckon? Would this be up your alley? Would you be tempted to buy one? Let me know what you make of the new ASUS Pro Art lineup in the comments below. Make sure you've hit that subscribe button because I do have some other laptops I wanna show you, but I'm not allowed to just yet. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I will see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.